Hey guys, John V here from Phone Arena. You're watching our video review of the Amazon Kindle Fire 2. It's actually the replacement to the Amazon Kindle Fire from last year. Same body, same design. Uh, the only thing new, new thing with it is that it's packing a slightly faster dual core processor and a lower price point of only $159. It's a new model, but it employs the same exact design as uh, the original Kindle Fire. Nothing different about it. Uh, by today's standards, it's very conventional, a little bit on the bland side, your typical slate here. Uh, Streamline still has a decent construction, nice soft touch coating in the rear, gives it a clean appearance. And I think we like this over the Amazon Kindle Fire HDs that's narrower here when you hold it in portrait, so it's easier to grasp with one hand. Up front, we're greeted with the same exact display as before. It's a 7-inch IPS LCD panel with a resolution of 1024 by 600 pixels. So even though it is a lower resolution display, it's still nevertheless more than decent enough for most things. For example, here in the web browser, zoomed out view, the fine text here is still legible to the eye, so no issues with that. On top of that, it has a natural color production, very pleasant looking. It's not as spectacular as the Amazon Kindle Fire HD display, but as we said already, it's more than usable. Just like before, it has a very minimalistic uh, appearance. Uh, the only thing that you find around its sides, you have the dedicated power button, 3.5mm headset jack, the micro USB port for data and charging connectivity, and up top you have its two stereo speakers. Well, there's nothing new with the interface, same exact one we've seen already with the Kindle Fire from last year. You have the 3D carousel here, which displays the most recently accessed applications, and the categories are broken up top. It's very basic, lacks the personalization of other Android devices out there. It is Android-based, but it's kind of hard to tell just because it's heavily skinned. The new thing that we find on here are just these advertisements and the lock screen for a variety of different things, whether it be content or actual products. Uh, it's there just to fit in with Amazon's ecosystem. As we said earlier, this latest Amazon Kindle Fire model features a faster 1.2 GHz dual-core TI OMAP 4430 ARM Cortex A9 processor coupled with 1 GB of RAM. So uh, for the most part, it's uh, pretty fast. Opening up applications, it's pretty quick. The benchmark scores aren't the best, but the real-world performance we're more than content with. Uh, so for things like opening up applications, pinch zooming, it's relatively quick. Every now and then we might see a delay or a pause. For example, when you're watching a video and you switch it from landscape to portrait or vice versa, there is a noticeable delay in that. But aside from that, it's pretty fast. Well, there's nothing different with the music player found on the tablet. It's the same exact one as before, so it's very basic with its presentation functionality. If you have any purchased content from Amazon, it'll actually uh, show it in the cloud. And as far as the audio quality with its two speakers, once again, it's very strong and powerful with little distortion. This time around, there's no need to download a third-party app to watch videos um, so that, uh, videos that are stored on the tablet just because it comes with this personal videos application out of the box. So the video we have here is encoded in MPEG-4, 1920 by 1080 resolution. You can tell it's moving very fast. As we said before, if we flip it over to portrait, we do notice a delay, a pause in that action, but for the most part, it's more than enjoyable. With its battery life, it's actually average and more than agreeable to our liking. In fact, we're able to get by one day of normal usage out of a full charge consisting of mostly web browsing, emailing, and watching videos. On one hand, we're baffled as to why Amazon decided to release this, this model. It's essentially the same one as last year, except for the fact that it has a slightly faster processor and it's $40 less at $159. But to tell you the truth, you're still better off spending, investing the money into the Amazon Kindle, Kindle Fire HD just because you can get more value for the dollar. For example, you're going to get some additional goodies such as a front-facing camera, micro HDMI output, higher resolution display, and this tablet just really doesn't have enough justification at $159 to separate it from its higher end sibling. So if you'd like to learn more about the Amazon Kindle Fire 2, you can check our website guys, phonearena.com. This is John V. Thanks for watching.